Um, so I'd like to give you um, some presidency remarks uh, on um, behalf of the council about the session we've just had. Uh, this was an any other business session uh, on the events in Beni in the Democratic uh, Republic of the Congo. Um, our main uh, points that we'd like to convey, uh, we condemn the attack against civilians and we condemn the attacks against MINUSCO. Uh, but I'd like to recall the MINUSCO mandate uh, that does have in it the requirement to protect uh, civilians. Uh, we expressed our full support uh, for the Special Representative, Leila Zarugi. Uh, we also were joined by the Assistant Secretary General, Bintu Keita, which was very helpful, and our very strong support for the SRSG and her team uh, in MINUSCO. Uh, we, um, the Council also called for the mitigation of risks to civilians uh, in all offensive operations conducted by FARDC uh, and MINUSCO. Um, but of course, there is no equivalence <laughs> between the attacks carried out uh, by groups like the ADF uh, and what MINUSCO are doing, and no equivalence at all uh, between that and the protesters. The right of um, Peaceful protest, freedom of expression, freedom of assembly uh, is a very basic human right that the UN uh, upholds. Uh, so um, we also talked about UNITAD, uh, but I think you have heard uh, what council members uh, had to say in the chamber expressing their support uh, for the special advisor. Can we ask your questions? I don't know if you want to ask it, answer in your national capacity. Or... Depends what the question okay. is. Well, can I ask you about, about MINUSCO's <laughs> performance in terms particularly on protecting civilians? Um, both in recent days but also in recent months, have they been doing a good enough job? Uh, I'm not going to give an evaluation on individual uh, UN peacekeeping missions, either as presidency or in my national capacity. This was clearly uh, a very difficult situation. Uh, the SRSG gave us a, a lot of detail. Um, whenever a peacekeeping missions mandate comes up for renewal, uh, the council, uh, the troop contributing countries look back uh, at how that mission has done within its existing mandate uh, and on that basis tweak the mandate. Um, but I don't want to indulge in any sort of evaluation. They are doing a difficult job in very difficult circumstances and it is the ADF who are to blame uh, for the current situation. Russell, Michelle, next. Have you given any indication on what this might mean for the Ebola response? Um, I think everybody was already very worried that fighting was retarding uh, a fully effective uh, Ebola response. So to that extent, uh, this is just more evidence of the difficulties. Uh, the council members were very interested in the Ebola angle. Uh, there's um, a feeling that probably more international coordination on the ground would be helpful, but I think that will need to be followed up by WHO in conjunction with MINUSCO. Uh, Ambassador, about the UNITAD uh, meeting, one of the most pressing relevant issues is the issue of the foreign terrorist fighters in Syria and Iraq, uh, um, uh, is there a sense at the council right now about there should be a multilateral, more cooperation in terms of dealing with this issue? Because as we, we can see right now in Syria, clearly unilateral effort is not effective in, in dealing with the issue of foreign terrorism. Um, well, as presidency, I will point out that the issue of UNITAD is Daesh accountability. Uh, it isn't the question of foreign terrorist fighters. Uh, and you heard what council members uh, had to say in the chamber uh, about the investigative team, about the work of UNITAD, uh, very strong support. Uh, so the council did not go into the issue of foreign terrorist fighters, which, as I say, is a different issue. Push for additional contributions to UNITAD. Um, do you think it's going to have any impact? I know the United Kingdom is one of the contributors to the, their operations. Um, well, it's obviously for each country to d decide which bits of the um, UN system it wants to give voluntary uh, contributions to, but we believe uh, UNITAD is doing a very good job. We were very pleased, this is as Britain now, we were very pleased to see its mandate uh, renewed for a full year uh, and we hope that it will continue to get the funding it needs to carry out its important work. There is a lot of support uh, for the investigative work that it does. Thank you very much everyone. Thank you very much.